Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Ron Fran Strong. I'm Ray Tuck. Today we're going to talk about some new and exciting features coming to the Garmin 945 that are aimed at the trail and ultra runner. On February 16, 2021, Garmin launched the Garmin Enduro GPS watch for endurance athlete, specifically trail and ultra runners. Garmin has announced that it will roll out the features that are in the Garmin Enduro, in the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro, as well as the Garmin 945, and possibly some other Garmin watches. The expected rollout is around spring of 2021. While the Garmin Enduro boasts a crazy battery life of 80 hours using both GPS and GLONASS, with one second measurement intervals and the optical heart rate monitor. It is a very expensive watch and retails for $799 in the stainless steel version and $899 in the titanium version. To sum it up, the Garmin Enduro is essentially a Garmin Phoenix 6 without the pro features and there are no high-res maps, no Wi-Fi and no music. Yes, it has a crazy battery life, and yes, it has a new trail on ultra running features, but we are thrilled that these features are being rolled out to the Garmin 945, which retails at a substantially lower price, $599, compared to the Garmin Enduro. We'll review features that are relevant for trail on ultra runners in the Garmin 945 in three parts. First, we'll take a look at the battery life. Second, We'll take a look at existing features. And third, we'll take a look at new features that will be coming according to Garmin in spring of 2021. The Garmin 945 has an estimated battery life of 40 hours using GPS only and one second measurement intervals. If we enable both GPS and GLONASS, the estimated battery life is 36 hours. However, some customization of the GPS watch will further extend the battery life. The estimated battery life should be more than sufficient to complete a 100 mile ultra marathon, most of which have a 30 hour cutoff limit. Next, let's take a look at a couple of really cool features that already exist in the current Garmin 945. The first outlined in orange is a revamped VO2 max metric that was improved by Garmin by incorporating both heat and altitude accumulation in the algorithm. And what that means is that VO2 max is adjusted for heat and altitude above certain benchmarks. Next, let's take a look at the existing Climb Pro feature outlined in blue. Climb Pro is really useful for trail runners that run a known route from the base of a mountain to the summit of a mountain, and it breaks the climb into segments, and it calculates for each segment in real time the total elevation remaining the distance, and the average gradient. Climb Pro will show us a visual representation of where we are on each climb. This feature is very useful for runners to adjust their running intensity, both before starting a climb as well as during a climb. There are several new features that are available in the Garmin Enduro GPS watch, and Garmin has announced should be available in the Garmin 945 in spring of 2021. The first of these outlined in red is a new ultra run mode that is different from the existing run mode and trail run mode. This ultra run mode in turn enables three new features outlined in green, blue, and orange. At the core of the ultra run mode outlined in green is the new ultra rest timer. What's really cool and different about the ultra rest timer is that it creates a marker in the GPX file to mark where we are running and where we are resting. For example, in an aid station or some other kind of transition point or zone. This does not stop or pause the GPS watch. Both GPS and the timer will continue to run while we're in the rest mode. While we're in rest mode, the watch will display both the rest timer, as well as the total elapsed timer. This feature is very useful for both trail and ultra runners during a ultra race or during a dress rehearsal to measure and analyze both our run time as well as our rest time without losing the total elapsed time of that race or workout. 
Outlined in blue are the improvements to the Climb Pro feature called Climb Pro 2.0. Garmin has added the sense segments to climb segments and now calculates elevation changes going up as well as down and distance and gradients going up and down. Garmin will show a visual representation for the sense segments as well. With the Climb Pro feature complete, this is very useful for trail and ultra runners to adjust their running intensity as well as their run walk strategy. We might want to walk the uphills and run the flats and the downhills and also time the refueling and hydration before a climb, for example, or whenever it makes sense. Garmin has also added an alert to the Climb Pro feature to alert us as we approach or start a climb or descent. Last, outlined in orange, is a trail running VO2 max metric. The trail running VO2 max metric builds on the already revamped VO2 max metric that is adjusted by the heat and altitude acclimation and further fine tunes the VO2 max algorithm with trail relevant data. This is very important because the previous VO2 max metric underreported actual VO2 max for trail and ultra runners. The previous VO2 max calculation was unable to measure the intensity required to navigate trail obstacles and trail conditions that would elevate a runner's heart rate. The unfortunate result was that the previous unadjusted VO2 max would assume we're less fit than we actually are because we're running slower at a higher heart rate than we would on the roads. The new algorithm considers accelerometer and other data to calculate trail running VO2 max. It is still possible to turn off VO2 max for trail run and ultra run modes. For example, if we're carrying a heavier pack, we may not want to calculate VO2 max. I hope this video has been a useful preview of the new trail and ultra running features coming in the Garmin 945, hopefully by spring of 2021. If you enjoyed the video, would appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up, smash that like button, and if you're new to the channel, would we'll really appreciate if you consider subscribing to follow my journey. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.